Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Welcome back to another episode of Saving Grace. And today we are joined by the most controversial guest to date. It's Izzy Bloody Oakley. Just goes to show how tame everyone else is, really. <laughs> If you're the controversial yeah. one. I mean, I'm not quite Tanamojo, I'm sorry to disappoint. No, we're nearly there. We're yeah, nearly we're there. A few there. more arse picks and yeah. we will be there. Yeah. yeah, well. Anyway, give them a sum up. Give them what you are. The cock destroyer. Yeah. Um, in some respects. Some. Uh, just my local area, really. Uh, no, I guess I'm the Marmite of TikTok. No, she really is. I yeah. said this earlier. I was like, you either fucking love me or you hate me. Or and you want you know her what? dead. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would, to be fair. I would. As an outsider probably would be the same <laughs> i'd be like yeah she's to, a bitch no today's episode is the redemption of izzy oakley Ooh. i get to see a different side to izzy which is actually why i like her uh so today you're gonna see that side that's the most controversial thing so far <laughs> yeah everyone's like turn off oh uh, fucker <laughs> <laughs> she said enough we're gonna... <laughs> right we're gonna start with the elephant in the room yeah take a Me. swig yeah <laughs> yeah she's the elephant cancellations you've had your fair few <sighs> <laughs> silence Pinch is loud <laughs> silence is loud i mean we're going to focus on the main one which started the ball rolling oh yeah okay and this is your bearing in mind the mental health ball i May think I, I was the reason for this i asked this it was my fault um because i sent a screenshot of something and i thought they'd find it funny <laughs> I, I didn't find it funny, actually, and it got Izzy cancelled. So, my bad. It looked a lot worse than it was. But I think the main thing is, the yeah. main thing we can get across yeah. is, I mean, look, it's I've had a few. You have had a few. Yeah. But the unfortunate thing is, the best way to deal with them, well, I mean, more fortunate, I suppose, is to not react, but then at the same time you have the issue of you never get your side out of the story. Yeah, and I do want to say a lot of this is very not how it seems and people do jump on the bang bang the bang wagon the bandwagon <laughs> it is the of tip of the iceberg taking that as gospel what they've just heard yeah. from one side there is two sides to every story I and it's not this, as it seems yeah as a blanket statement as well every time you see drama online with anyone there is a lot more that you just will never know about and the issue is we want to talk about it but it's for the best interest of everyone that it doesn't because it, it goes so out. far and it just gets out of hand and people get their feelings hurt like when I've had hate online, it's been so overwhelming. Like me and Grace went for a shoot the day after I had a video come out about me. And as she said, like you just see the refreshing. It is mad. She literally was sat there and she was like, just look at this. Ref not that fake hand. Fake hand? Fake, fake tan hand. hand. She was refreshing and it was just a new person like Kill Yourself sending you a dress saying they're yeah. going to throw acid at you. They, some of them were like, we will <laughs> find out where you live and we will like do this to your house. We will throw acid in your face. Like some of the most vulgar things. Um, and the issue is you can't retaliate because the minute you retaliate, you're the bad person. No matter what someone said about you or the lies someone's told about you. And it's really very unfortunate because you're just sat there taking it on the chin. And I went through school with a lot of crap. Like I didn't enjoy school at all. I got bullied heavily. And the last thing that I really realized when you take on this job role is it does come with the good and very much the bad. And they are very two extreme Mm -hmm. like versions of that like people don't have... realize that either but they're also like oh i'm anti-cancel culture yeah. like i'm anti this and then they will send you death threats in your dms yeah. and you're like well that's only better to be fair i've had hate that's from someone really good thank you <laughs> and their bio was like mum of three i'm like yeah what? got out your fucking kids yeah, like, jesus let's just christ pray no one is as disgusting to me as you have been to your kids like they'll be the first one to come into my comment section like if you ever said this to my child I love you. And it's like, well, come on, you've got to think about it logically. If you wouldn't want someone saying it to the, your family member, your friend, your why child. Why are you saying it to you? Why are you saying it to me? You and don't, they don't know even me. know the situation. It is so true. But unfortunately, when you see things on the internet, I've been there before. I used to be a massive YouTube fan before I started TikTok my fa myself. And it was pure accident for both of us mm. that this is even our job. But you'd see people go through scandals. And you'd be like, oh my God, they're getting all this hate. But I never really thought in my head, maybe it's because I'd never left a hate comment myself. 
Like, I just have to constantly tell myself, they're jealous of you. <laughs> like, you know, the thing yeah. your mum used to tell you in school, I'd go, like, home, and, like, mum, they called me fat. They said, boom, every time I walk today. <laughs> She's like, they're jealous of you. I'm like, yeah, sure they are. <laughs> but unfortunately, some people are just going to hate you. But when you're on the internet, you're exposed to a hell of a lot more people. And I always watch, like, for example, I'd watch some of the Geordie Shore girls on Instagram, um, and they would always talk about how harsh trolls were and I never thought about it. Because yeah, you I'm, never, yeah, because you haven't been through it. Yeah, I was like, well, how harsh can people be? But you would be so surprised at what, well, not necessarily you, but just a viewer of what some people can come out with. It's and the volume of vulgar. it. Like if you've yeah. got a hun hundreds, and that's not an overstatement, like hundreds of people. Yeah spew and hate at you yeah obviously you're not going to be like i'm having a great day i'm having a great but that's the thing i did i was like hi guys you okay like i overdid it massively and behind closed doors obviously i was devastated you're crying the whole time yeah, yeah literally like on my floor but like the thing is i couldn't show people that because they would gain so much pleasure off it and you can't you can't feed into these people's like I don't even know. They're dreams. They literally go to bed at night like, I hope she fucking... Suffers. I just think if you're trying to build your platform with hate, it is not going to get you anywhere. Yeah. I think if you do it with the right intentions, you will grow if organically. Can, yeah. If you can be yourself and yeah. people still like you, that is the best way to be. But regardless, a lot of people probably ask you the same question, but I get asked all the time, what do you do to grow a following? Be yourself, because that's what we've yeah, done. Yeah, if you're going in it with, I want to be this, this and this, then mm. you'll never get it, I don't think. But you've also got to understand, and a lot of people don't understand, that it will always come with a backlash. You could be the most perfect human being known to man. You could be an angel, and people will still be like, she's fake. She's this, she's yeah. that. You can't ever win with the internet, unfortunately. Mm. And I think, because I'm perceived as a very gobby, like loud mouth, very much outspoken girl on the internet, when actually in real life, just your normal average... Average... Average gal. Average queen, yeah. What can you do? That's what I'm saying. And I think people just assume that because they've seen me, you know, rant about how much I despise the male race, they just think, oh, she's always like that. She's always gobby. No. Nah, everyone I've met <laughs> no. on social media is like, it, you've got a social media persona mm. and then you've got your normal day-to-day yeah. -day persona. Your down-to-earth version. Yeah. Like, we're not always going to be like, hi, guys. So today, like, for you, right, example, yeah, someone's going to go flat ass today. Like, Grace might walk into every room and be like, this has happened, this happened. And neither will I. I won't walk into this any room and be like, I hate men. Which, yeah. to be fair, true. Sometimes, but yeah. Sometimes, but most days, we're just normal people. And that's the beauty of TikTok is we're we are normal, normal men. Normal men. <laughs> <laughs> innocent men. Yeah. We're just normal people that have stupidly made an innocent little video and it's gone somewhere. And we didn't choose for it to go anywhere. It just did. It just did. And then we were like, well, might as well carry on now. Yeah, exactly. And that was literally the logic. We've never gone, I want to be an influencer. It's just happened. Like, when I used to work my old job, I used to do a nine to five. I was a social media manager like I didn't have in my mind at any point that I would run my own social media like never did I go that would be my job one day no when no. I was probably six I thought I'd be Rihanna yeah no me too yeah, yeah, Beyonce yeah. maybe yeah, with a like flat that. ass yeah. but here we well, are bring it back because I know your time at school was shit oh my god yeah it definitely does I was like right finally escaped bullying <laughs> then yeah. I become an influencer and it's back on what it what a dickhead <laughs> <laughs> they didn't think that would make me mentally ill, but it did. Um, so school was horrific. Like from year seven till nine, I got bullied profusely for being fat. Like fat, ugly. I didn't wear makeup. I didn't. Really, I didn't do my hair. I just woke up in the morning, got the bus. Mood. It was fucking six a.m. <laughs> yeah. What do you expect from me? <laughs> like I was twelve. Like, messy I'm not bun. Yeah, yeah, fuck that. I didn't even do messy. I, like literally didn't even brush it. Just walked out. So it's, it's a solid five minute walk to the bus stop. I wasn't putting any effort in. <laughs> I'd wake up, eat, and just be like, oh, about time. Run down the road to the bus, hopefully yeah, yeah. catch it. Hopefully. Um, when my older brother left, that was even worse because he'd run ahead and catch it for me. And then I'd just toddle along. Toddle along. I'd be like, wait, for <laughs> me, please. please. And I'd have to get him to hold it. Otherwise, my mum would have a go in. But anyway, <laughs> she'd be like, you let your fat sister wait. <laughs> <laughs> she can't run like you. She's got asthma. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore oh, that. <no. laughs> That's my phone. <laughs> I'd bend it down because you're going to spin it up. Yeah, I will. But I just got bullied so bad. And then I started making my... Well, trigger warning. Yeah. Eating disorder. Um, I made myself sick in the summer holidays of year nine to year 10. And then, well, I mean, karma got, got me on the arse, really. I yeah. got Crohn's disease from that. 
because the acid bring up love that so then I lost loads of weight and then I got bullied for being too skinny you can't fucking win you, can't you win. actually can't win I had some girl be like look at your legs I was like yeah tell them <laughs> no <laughs> no, we're no we're not doing that um <laughs> but yeah that was horrific and then most of year 10 I wasn't even in because I was so ill, like, and then <laughs> it was actually quite bad to admit. But from that point, I had the green card to go home whenever I wanted to. Because I, <laughs> you were like, maths yeah, I was going like, I need home. to shit. I've got to go. <laughs> I can't go anywhere else. I'm scared. I'm really scared. <laughs> so I'd be like double PE at the end of the day. Fuck it off. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Peace and love. I'm off. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, what have you got? Triple science? Yeah, have that. I'm <laughs> fucking off, mate. I'd be like, oh, I'm so ill. Let me go home. Like, to be fair, there were days that she was, but majority of the time I'd be like, don't like that lesson. Yeah, no, I'm fuck off. that. Yeah. But you had people when you were getting cancelled um, on <laughs> yeah, your lives being like, she bullied me at school. They yeah. didn't even go to school. Scotland. From Scotland. 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 I don't uh, remember you being from Aberdeen. Well, clearly the accent. Yeah. Strong. I can hear it, actually. Mm. Yeah, a twinge. Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Yeah, there it is. Haggis. It comes out sometimes when I'm drunk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hear it too. Yeah, no, never moved from, like, pretty much grew up in the same area, stayed there my whole life. I always had people being like, I'm her family friend. I'm like, first of all, my dad hates people. We don't have family <laughs> friends. Yes, yeah, we got that family. The Thank only you. family friends we have, I would know, like, by name who it is. Yeah. So I'm like, she's she's my family friend and actually she's a bitch. I'm like, who are you? <gasps> also, you wouldn't say that if you actually were a family friend. Yeah. I'd be like, I'm telling mum. Why are you calling me a family friend then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why are you even putting that in there? Fuck you. Just be like, family. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> family associated. Please. Not people family friend. People stretch it. Yes. Yeah. Stretch the it. The amount of lies about me online. I've had people say like, I'm from an area that I've not said I'm from. I say online, I'm ju from just outside of Croydon. i tell you for why. Because the minute I say I'm from Surrey, people go, oh, Guildford. I'm like, what, 45 minutes away from me? <laughs> I know my, like, Croydon, like the back of my hand. I could not tell you how to get around Guildford. Yeah. It scares me. All I know is there's 50 miles per hour average on the way. And that's because I go to the and dentist. And that's important. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I, I feel like people just will take any excuse to just be like, I know her. I know this. I know this. And yeah. I'm like, you don't, though. Like, if you did you probably would feel differently. Yeah, people, well, this is what I'm saying. Because I, I remember when I first like met, I didn't even meet you. I like, so we were in this big chat. But like yeah, before, no, like that's yeah, how yeah, I knew yeah. we were in this big chat. And I was like, I don't know, like they just get bad vibes off it. <laughs> and then I actually met you and I was like, oh, well, I was pretty wrong. Actually, Everyone yeah. says that though. I think I, I have quite an intimidating no, vibe. No, it's because you're so out there. I think it's, it, it is intimidating. Yeah. But when you actually get to know you, you're not like that. Like in person, you're not like that. At all. No, but I think wreck. you're, yeah, but I think you're different anyway to how you were when you first started TikTok. Yeah. But then I was started when I was like 20, <coughs> nearly like just turned 21, now 23. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting we started so long ago, yeah. first lockdown. I literally just turned 21 and now I'm 23. That's so that's disgusting. at least two years of like mental, physical growth. Like my and tits trauma. are even smaller now. Yeah. And trauma. Yeah. 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 One year ago today, I broke up with my ex. So yeah. one year single, cheers to that. No, I, no, I never thought you'd make it to a year. Oh, I, I have been here through so many talking <laughs> stages. Your luck with men is horrific. Horrific. And it's like stuff that if you just said it normally, you'd think she's a liar, but it genuinely happens. Yeah. It's horrific. Yeah. It's, it's great. I um, mean, it seasons me. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think it adds to the psychopathic tendencies. Well, I think the next guy I'm with, either he has to be completely incognito, never been seen on the internet yeah. before and will never be seen by the internet. Yeah. Or he will be an influencer that can't do any wrong because everyone's watching him. Truth. Facts. Well, you you tried an influencer, didn't you? I've tried many. <laughs> no, so I've tried a couple. Let's rein that uh, in. You've dipped your Let's fingers in some in. pies. I've yeah. dipped them in. I've in some hot tub I've pies. Gone like this. Yeah. And then gone, no. Yeah. It burns. Do you want to expand? Which one? Hot tub? Oh. So that magical house that yeah. we went to. Um I said hello to everyone, all was fine. Then everyone else turned up, what, like 10 minutes later, 20 yeah. minutes later, in the coach. The reason I didn't get the coach is because it was further, it was in central London and I was closer to the actual place than to go into central London than whatever. Anyway, irrelevant information. Point is, I got to stay a little bit longer because I drove. So this opened some avenues. It really did. So Because well, we all, after, because it's like the finale night, we all yeah. were like, Fuck it, let's go in the pool. And before anyone assumes, I am not the condom. 
all right no unfortunately not. i'm really sad about it yeah no was not me was not was not me oh yeah she didn't she wasn't the one that shagged in the toilet yeah not at all but no. you, they know well, who they are soon come yeah, yeah well yeah. what can i say anyway anyway yeah. so we went in the pool because we, we weren't allowed in the pool at the main event no. and they were like go on get yourself in there yeah have so, a good time me, Brooke, we both sta- overstayed our welcome a little bit. And Rory joined us oh, as well, Oh, Rory. Didn't God bless. We all got in the pool. Me and Grace were on this massive swan, right? <laughs> my <laughs> eyelashes were halfway off my face. One was on my forehead. I was like, I look great. I, the person in question was like, oh, can I see your pedicure? I should have taken that as a red flag, but no, I didn't. No. I thought, yeah, okay, go your on. Your are beautiful. I shuffle, I shuffle down the swan. You did. Swan flips. Yeah. <laughs> me and Grace go, oh. I was like, I can't swim midway through the water then I come up onto the surface and the person in question was like dead in front of me I snot down my face <laughs> I literally snot all down my face because I can't swim and I had a panic attack under the water <laughs> yeah. and I was like <laughs> and he was like it's alright everyone snots on their face I was like no they don't <laughs> I don't think they I do I don't think they do and then thing, one thing led to another and you I ended did. up being on like in a hot tub with this person and I had never had compliments like it. They were like, you've got the most beautiful eyes. What about my fat person ass? What about that? <laughs> no one, like, that's usually the boy's first response. He's like, I like your ass. Let me in that <laughs> minge. But no. <laughs> it was immediately, you've got wonderful eyes. At this point, I thought You were confused. Love. You were like, my yeah. eyes. As we've said before, I like men that look like they've rolled out of a van, yeah. low top on. So to have an actually decent human being be like, you've got nice eyes and nice hair. Mm. And I was like, what's happened? <laughs> and also some by some miracle, after I got dunked, my whole face stayed intact. No, your setting spray, phenomenal. <sighs> my halo has moved and that's because I'm talking about sin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it back. Is it that? Yeah, yeah. Right. So essentially, long story short, we had a moment and I've seen him since. And there's still been my, there's a spark there, but it's never gone anywhere. But it will. Do you think? I'm putting money on it. When he finally doesn't have a girlfriend. Oh, he's always got a girlfriend. I think he'll have a five minute break. That'll give it away. And then, (laughs) and then he'll hop on it. (laughs) He'll hop on the Oakley. But then again, he had an opportunity because... He did. There was a, that's way too specific. Tell them. There wasn't, can I? Yeah, because you're not mentioning names. So I picked this person up in my car for something undisclosed <laughs> not sex um they don't work the street corners um only on weekdays only on weekdays yeah. that's, that's me though um so i picked this person off my car gave him a lift there was every opportunity for something to happen mm. and it just didn't it didn't i sort of think is it me do i smell maybe, maybe. oh well Tell them. <laughs> <laughs> no because i was just like I feel like they give off a facade that they know about bitches, but well, they don't. Well, time will only tell. I agree. Do you know what I mean? I agree. And I will be all ears. I'll be living through you. Yeah. Because I'm not getting any. Well, so I'll I just I pray I've shaved because that's something we never voted. <laughs> Every event, we're like, you shame? No. Yeah, we go to events, we're like, yeah, we probably won't get any tonight. And then we'll see a fit guy, and I'm like, Izzy, where's the nearest yeah, uh, corner like, shop for a race? Have you quick? got in your own addiction? Because I do. <laughs> yeah. You don't know how, because no, no one's been near me. <laughs> but then we just use woo woo, and it goes away. A three minute wonder. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right. I want to move on to your Jesse Nelson story. Okay, I think it's about time. This story, unbelievable. Go. So I went on a date. <clears throat> Which rarely happens, believe me. No, it doesn't. It happens all the time. It does, yeah. I went on a date, um, but with another content creator, and I will not disclose who it is, but people will work it out anyway, so it's fine. Because they've also made a video about it. But anyway, moving on. Moving on. I went on a date with another content creator. This is my first time at Winter Wonderland, right? Never been before. It was dry. And I'll tell you for why. Why? We just did a few games, and we was like, yeah. And you spent look. 140 quid, probably, I didn't spend on those. a penny. God oh, bless. I what a never. man. Oh, Thank you. Look, if I was to get that card out, you know, I'm never seeing him again. Never again. Never again. I pretend like, oh, please, no. <laughs> yeah. So they actually old. say, yeah, and you're like, yeah. no, thank you. Oh. <laughs> that was that was like my old one Decline. anyway. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, so he he's a, he's a gym guy. He, he likes the gym. So we can actually eat anywhere in there. 
All I got was one mulled wine. Disappointed. Definitely need to redo that because yeah. that was not a good indication of Winter Wonderland, I think. Anyway, he's a gym man. So obviously we had to go to fucking Nando's. So we went on like an actual trek to Nando's and we ended up in the one opposite Selfridges. We sit downstairs. There was a bit of an ear, like something in the air. Like yeah. everyone felt a bit off. And I was like, maybe they recognised me from TikTok or him from YouTube or whatever. So... Maybe that's why. But I was like, I'm not that big of a fucking deal. And it seems a bit funny down here, but whatever. We sit down, we start eating, whatever. And he asks me, he was asking me about... Um, Careful some, how you word this. Yeah. He was asking me about, you know, some of the latest memes. Yeah. Um, one of them being the Jesse Nelson Jingle Bell Ball opening draw situation <laughs> yeah. and he was like oh do you not think she's a bit commercialized now i haven't got a fucking clue look i've got four five gcses some of them i don't know <laughs> i'm really not into that i don't care like, i'm not about politics <laughs> <laughs> yeah jesse <laughs> you know nelson I mean? like, politics hand in hand you know what i mean yeah. so, but you know what i mean i'm not about it i don't yeah. care i'm not here to discuss that all i knew was the draw yeah so yeah. i start doing the old oh, giving movement. it everything yeah giving it my all and there was a particularly interesting person sat next to me. In fact, a few. There was three people sat next to us. Like, I'm, I mean next to us. Yeah. Like, closer than you are to me, next to us, right? And they had loads of shopping bags. I thought, it's Christmas. You know, a lot of people come to their Christmas shopping. I'm not going to question anything. That's whatever. And then while he's talking about her being too commercialised or something, I hear, why are you talking about me? When my heart <laughs> fell out of my arsehole... It fell out of my asshole. It thudded on the floor. <laughs> it rolled to the toilet and just left my body that day. And I turn myself to probably where that tray is. I swear down. I turn myself and I go, oh my days. <laughs> my eyes fill with tears. Like I'm ready to ball and just pull what I do with my dad when I do something wrong and cry. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, and I just go, I'm so sorry. Like whatever. It was Jesse Nelson. It was Jesse Nelson. It was Jesse Nelson. <laughs> It was Jesse Nelson. It was Jesse Nelson, yeah. Um, the reason I didn't know it was her, because she had a fur coat on, a back turned to everyone, and massive sunglasses on, no makeup, nothing, no glam. So she purposely didn't want people to know she was there. And yeah. me being the oblivious twat I am, completely did not know she was there. I'm, yeah, here, for a, I'm here for a lemon and herb, babe. <laughs> yeah. Say yeah. what you want. Yeah. But I'm here to get some scranning. I've just had to walk around Winter Wonderland, no toy in hand, with some guy I'm clearly not interested in. I just want to eat <laughs> with something. With a mulled wine. Yeah, yeah. with a mulled wine. That, pff, by the way, don't like mulled wine. <laughs> yeah. Don't like wine at the best of times. So I was just there like, oh, really would not even pay it. You could have had fucking Kim Kardashian next to me. I wouldn't have had a shit to give. I was <laughs> yeah. starving. I was absolutely ravenous. So when I saw her, I was like, what? I hadn't even finished. And it was like, we best go. I was like, no, <laughs> we have to go. I'm starving. So we had to up and leave. We were both shell shocked. You were both going so sorry. Yeah, so like we were sorry. both kind of like we both knew we weren't going to go on another date, but we he was all right. Like we got on. Yeah, we were friends, but we were. But he literally didn't talk to me. He did not talk to me until he left for his train and said goodbye. Like, like I swear, to, there yeah, was but no, wasn't he a big fan of Jesse Nelson yeah, as well? <laughs> massive fan of Jesse Nelson. But he was sat next to me slagging her off. I was like, why are you doing that then? <laughs> and he was like, what are the chances? I was like, well, clearly high. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Quite Never a doing few. that again. I was like, I literally don't know much about Jesse Nelson. All I knew is the draw. That's all I had to give. <laughs> yeah. And she was unfortunately staring at me. I was like, what about him? What about him? That, that's so, the luck you have. That is so unfortunate. I know. The whole train journey home. And do you remember my close friends? I got I got home. Well, you I didn't were get flustered home. in the car. You were like, you're not going to fucking believe this. I stuck my phone up and I was just screaming for like the first fucking 30 seconds. I was like, yeah, I didn't know what was going on. I was like, I don't know what's happened. Yeah, loads of people must have just skipped through that. Because so <laughs> yeah. many people didn't know afterwards. But then everyone who listened was like, fuck off. And I was like, it would only be me. It would only be me. This is a reoccurring theme. It No, it genuinely is always only you. Only That's me. That's why I get scared to go to events with you. Because I'm like, what now? <laughs> what fucking now? Well, no, but seriously, that was a fuck story. When I heard that, no. I couldn't believe it at all. No, but it's unbelievable. No, it's unbelievable. If you, if I wasn't friends with you, I'd be like, she, fa like she made That's that. That's lying. No, on, I wish I was lying. Do you know how much that traumatised me? No, seriously, like, I literally yeah. was going to cry. I was going to cry. <laughs> you were But the joke cry. is she said nothing else. It was just like, 
Why are you talking about she, me? She, and this is the time when she was getting taken the piss out of as well. But I feel like so it's the not poor bad. girl. It's like, I mean, Dua Lipa had it and she didn't fucking turn around with anyone in Nando's, as far I as I'm mean, aware. I can't imagine Dua Lipa in Nando's. Can I have a one, female pit of police? Why does oh, imagine yeah. a Jesse Nelson in Nando's? Oh. We would have taken it out. I would have. That was a tough time for Jesse. Jesse, I'm sorry I had to go through that. Is he sorry? Say sorry. I already did say sorry. Say sorry. She, well, Jesse, I am sorry, but you could have said it's okay after <laughs> I said I am sorry. Because I shit. Not I've got Crohn's disease. Jesse Nelson. I've got Crohn's disease. I could have on site shat my pants. And I nearly did. So God forbid. <laughs> then it would have been a lot worse than the arm movements because they would have had to get a whole team cleaning that up. Wouldn't have been me and don't i know it before we move on to never ever can we talk about your ass yeah absolutely nah. Izzy awareness has cured my emetophobia <laughs> i wanted to be sick when i smelt her ass i was like let it happen so for some backstory obviously izzy has crohn's okay and i'm not taking the piss out of her but when i tell you her ass stinks it's fucking lethal and then we wonder why i'm single yeah no i said to her once i went what are you going to do when you live with a man? She went, shit in the woods. I was like, <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, so every response. time we go to events together, we always stay in the same hotel. because so we've got attachment issues. We have to be together. Yeah. Um, and so when you drink, you, your bowels, it becomes a lot. And when I say it becomes a lot, imagine death. Warmed up. Times it by 40. Yeah. 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 Just explain yourself. Well, you know what it is? No. Um, no. I rarely actually drink. Do, and yeah, since I've true. started doing these events, you have to drink, otherwise you will want to leave. Yeah, you have like, shit You time. will just be like, wow, this is great. Um, and that's purely because it's really clicky. So it's the only way to loosen us up, yeah. I suppose. Um, but anyway, Crohn's disease, alcohol, look, don't mix. They don't mix. And every morning without fail, I'll be like, what's the toilet door looking like? Like when we go to the Z Hotel, it's just a bit of flimsy glass, and I go so bad. I'm like Grace, <laughs> you better prepare yourself. Part of me thinks do it while she's asleep. She won't know. Nah, I will know. She will know. I will never forget. This is the worst it's ever been. So you were drinking. It was your birthday weekend. Yeah. So Izzy had been drinking the whole month, right? And we stayed in this hotel, and she comes out and she goes. Yeah, no, I'll give it give it 10 minutes. No ventilation in that bathroom. Yeah. So it's I, a good hotel. No, I gave it 20 minutes, right? So I was like, that'll be enough. That's fine. I walk into this bathroom to the thickest, hottest <laughs> air of pure shit. I And I was hungover. I was gagging. I was literally, I wanted to die. It was the worst. Well, any man that was watching this podcast with any sort of sexual interest towards me, it's gone. And you it know was what? The, and I had fine. my head out the window. I was like, Ugh. Well, no, genuinely, that cured my metaphobia. No, but the thing is, I the wanted to vomit. The issue is, from this point forward, and even we're staying, we're going to have to, well, anyway, we're staying together <laughs> yeah. again for two nights now. Yeah. So I'm going to bring bleach in my suitcase. And that's, that's not, not going to cut it. Bring your own toilet and throw <laughs> it out the window. Because <laughs> Just I bring a bucket not... and then empty it. Yeah, that probably works. No, but better. our luck is we always stay in these hotel rooms with the most pathetic yeah. bathroom doors, like a bit of glass with After holes Joe's, in. I managed to secure the bag on that one oh my but god i have got yeah. a technique where you flush and shit like it's just monu like look any of my girls with ibs crohn's colitis if you're in a hotel with a man or grace what you have to <laughs> do is likely. flush and shit or yeah. anyone with a metaphobia for that right like yeah. it's just it's a revolutionary way of yeah. avoiding it. but i didn't do it that day because i literally felt like my guts were coming out of my rectum and it was and it, and was. it was and it did I had a whole... This is the one time I th I hoped I was ill with the block nose. <laughs> I would have been praising God. Crohn's disease awareness month. There she is. <laughs> no, no, I've been made all too aware of Crohn's disease. I think the thing is as well, when you've had it... For, I, it's come up to a decade now. I think I was diagnosed when I was like 13, 14. Fucking hell. So like at this point, I'm so <laughs> open about the fact I shit way too regularly and no, way too much water. Izzy forgot she had a phone call with her doctor <laughs> when we were at that hotel that yeah. night. And I was like, what's Izzy talking about? And she was like, yeah, I go, you know, five to six times a day. And I was like, she can't be talking about shitting. <laughs> I she, thought that was low as well. I was like, let's make it reasonable so they don't call me in for more appointments. I'd be like, six. <laughs> A few times in the morning, a few times in the evening, sort of thing. Uh, that's not bad. I hate going to the doctors for Crohn's because they just chat shit. <laughs> I tune out. I just sit, it's ADHD, I just sit there and they're talking at me. They're like, we need bloods. I'm like, okay. You know, <laughs> Take not it get then. 
Unless you're doing right you now. You have to date someone else with Crohn's, I think. I tried that. Well, I didn't try it. I had a talking stage with one and he was dry. I just thought, is all your humour come out your asshole as well? Literally. <laughs> like, come on, let's play it up a bit. <laughs> You shout, you said to you, uh, you fucking dry bastard. Fucking, I don't know what you're eating, but fuck me. <laughs> oh, God, anyway. <laughs> okay, I need to do the say it or shot it now. Oh, it's never if I ever, sorry. God forbid. Right, yeah, there we go. Well, it's not much strong, I haven't. Because so I know this question. Uh, never have I ever slept with someone with a blue tick. Well. <laughs> 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 Pass me the AU. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish you could say who it was. I wish as well. Sorry. I'll do half because you're going to be shot in a lot. <laughs> oh, we're going to be shot in a lot. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, at least you pre warned me. See, that's all right. I think I even answered it with my face, but fuck it. <laughs> They'll never know who. I swallowed worse, you know what I mean? <sighs> Brilliant. <laughs> so long. Right. Never have I ever got into a physical fight. <laughs> Me and Tat. Cheers. To that. <laughs> yeah. But to be fair, I didn't get much yeah. further because I got restrained. Did you? Yeah. That's well, that... yeah, no, that'll yeah. do. Sorry, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's burning. No. Oh, God. I'm a mess. Right, okay. At least you didn't get on the Jack Wills. Jack trousers. Wills. Right, you ready? Yeah. And what were we going to say? We did, basically. Up the bum, no arm done. Oh, yeah. We did that too, though, so... With... What is it? What did you say? With honour? Don't come in her. Come on her. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. That's fruitful, that. Right. Passion. <clears throat> Ugh, right. Never have I ever... That tastes worse than last week. Not last week, the week before. It's age, you know, like fine wine. Right. Never have I ever had a threesome. Oh, I actually haven't, so I don't Neither have to have shake. I. Thank God. I thought... <laughs> Christian girl. Not saying I'm ruling it out, though. <laughs> Look at you. So no. If anyone wants to, uh, yeah. let me know. Right. Never have I ever shag more than one... Shag? Shag? Never <laughs> have I ever shagged more than one person. Well, Sean Paul. <laughs> Party girls. Right. <laughs> shagged more than one person in 24 hours. Oh, go on, smelly binge. Drink it up. No, <laughs> no I'm actually... I think it might have been a couple of days. How do you get that confused <laughs> in 24 hours? Like, I don't oh, shag off. What's going on? Are you crying? <laughs> I'm really upset. Like, <laughs> I haven't done it and I wish I had. <laughs> no, I actually don't think I have, no. Really? Yeah, no. Is it a different person? Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely not. No. Okay, fine. Right. Never, oh, sorry, I really am crying. I'm just emotional. It's Jesse Nelson. Um, never have I ever been cancelled. Oh, well. I semi nearly got cancelled, so I'll take a tiny shot. Yeah. Isn't that the Royals? Who? The Ro no, it wasn't the Royals. Oh, no. It? That was when everyone thought I was classist for making a, a, a Gracie Ann video. Oh, well. Get fucked if you were one of those. <laughs> Get, Get fucked. fucked. Ain't that deep. You're like, it's giving classism. Yeah, well, the people saying that definitely yeah, they're all Tory. private school. Oh, yeah, of course on. they are. That's why they don't like it. Right. Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to be gattered. Fantastic. She doesn't drink. Why don't you even react? I said I swallowed worse, and I was not joking. No, Although, yeah, you won't catch me in Dubai. That's all I'm saying. Well, it depends. If you get cancelled again, you might have to. Well, look, you might have to have shit the only plan comes out. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be taking it. I'll be like, work I'll be it, like, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Prior to an event, I'll be like, Grace, get this one in for me. <laughs> Slapping around my spaniel's ears, going, giving them like windmills. <laughs> what is going <laughs> Spaniel's ears. I remember the first time you said that to me, I was like, what did you just say? Sorry. Spaniel's ears. I said what I said. <laughs> I said what I said. When I meant it, when I said it. Right, last one. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, I'm crying. Right. <laughs> I can't stop. It's like proper dribbling out my eyes. Right. Never. I was going to, no. Anyway, carry Never on. have I ever <laughs> slept with one of my friends, like person I was talk they were talking to or boyfriend. Is he Oakley? Whoever it is, good luck to find out. <laughs> I want to know after this, actually. <laughs> right. 
I mean, technically, I'm no, I'm not even going to say that because he'll get so... Well, I've already pissed him off, to be fair. Yeah, to be fair, <laughs> uh, my ex, I slept with his best friend before I got with him. Did and you? his best friend, Lion, said he slept with me eight times. You wish, you ugly prick. <laughs> Amen. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Fucking hell. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. seeing flashbacks to my 23rd birthday now. I can't now. even read that. Oh, yeah. Should we yeah, talk about no. some events that we've done? Oh, or gone to? Events we've mullered. We yeah. Have... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> events we've mullered. There's been multiple events we've turned up and gone, this is shit. Yeah. No, okay. but I feel like we always go to events and people never, ever acknowledge us. Ever. No. I'm sorry, I need no. to just... Uh... Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. That's <laughs> that's a... What me and Grace do is we have to make sure each other are there. Yeah. Because otherwise we'll turn up and we'll be judged beyond. Because it's usually beautiful Instagrammers that have got their BBL, the beautiful boobs, yeah. the unreal hair. And an actual could be ask, fake. which is mad. Yeah, right. To see people that ask. But they also have something called audacity <laughs> and it runs thick within their vein. Um, because sometimes they just look at me and Grace and think, tramps. I don't even know who we are. Yeah. Sometimes they do, but they don't want to admit it. I feel like for some Instagram people, I'm not going to specify agenda. For some Instagram people, we've kind of come in and caused a bit of a ruckus because they've built up all this platform from just being beautiful, which don't get me wrong, they are beautiful. Well, talent, but we've yeah. come in with our meaty selves and been like, Wah! and we've made a career off of it. Yeah. And well, because when we went, uh, when I went to the PLT event, there was loads of people like, why are they, what? Why are they invite people yeah. from TikTok yeah. here? Yeah, there's been so many events like that, but they're like, why are there TikTokers here? Like even mm. one not too long ago, I feel like I went in and everyone just, even though they I don't want to pull this card because it sounds so entitled. And I would never do it in any other circumstance. But they've got less following than us, but they'll look on our, like look at us like shit. And it's like, okay, so what do I have to do to earn your respect? Like I've, I've worked hard for everything I have. So is Grace, like we work for it. We've done well for ourselves, but they look at us because we're not this perfect, prim and proper, like Instagram, inf we're not in that circle. Yeah, like, we're, that, we're not in the circle. Like, and don't get me wrong, we try our best, but we're probably not up there with the fashion influencers. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I hear you. And it's hard. It's hard. But it's like, also, if you're not like, if you're not known, no one will give you time of day no. anyway, full stop. Even if you are, I feel like, I don't know. It's a weird, weird. You get it more than me though. People, as soon as they find out, they're yeah. like, oh my God. I had, no, no, I had one. I won't specify who it is or what brand I was with, but I went to this brand to do this like content day um, and this girl walked in, said hello to everyone apart from me. She was told she was working with me. She went up to me. She was like, hi. And I was like, hi. And she was like, so what do you do? Um, and I was like, oh, TikTok. Someone took her away, showed her my TikTok. And I literally heard her went, oh my God, what? Straight after that, babe, let's follow each other. Let's, what videos should we do? Mm. And I was like, you are a cheeky bitch. In the word of Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Stay humble, you fucking bitch. That was, I remember that lyric. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I, I think agree. it was in the chorus or but something. I just think like, stop looking at people's follow accounts. Stop looking at who you think you know. Just maybe get to know the person. Yeah. Like, we're just not, we're just innocent men. <laughs> we're just <laughs> normal men. <laughs> we're just normal men. <laughs> we're just dog. here to enjoy ourselves and get content the same. We've been all invited here for a purpose. Like regardless of followers, regardless of who you think you know, you whatever, fuck them. And it's all about the people you meet yeah. on the way up. I always say like, my manager always says, always remember there's been some cunts that I have met on mm. like before whatever events. And now they're all messaging like, can I come on the pod? No, yeah. you can't. No, you, no, you can't. Because when you met he? me, yeah. Me. It's the Now queen. you're crying. Yeah. Like, why yeah. is the fuck is she there? <laughs> well, because yeah. I'm humble. She is. She's a humble bean. Get humble her to meal. <laughs> <laughs> I know but no, myself. I, the events we've gone to are just... But I remember we went to one. This whole time was just tragic. But we were in a YouTube video and I woke <laughs> up the next morning and I was like, no, 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 no. I remember in the YouTube video, I was like, I had my first lesbian experience. <laughs> and then Izzy was like my ex-boyfriend. We yeah, woke they, up and we were like, yeah, nah, it's on they YouTube. cut out so much to be fair. Good. But there was bits in there which still were very which much Which shouldn't there. be on there. Yeah, but they loved us. We had, they loved it in the video. Not 
sponsored. Hey, you were heavily um, endorsed at this party. Yeah, they fucking were, um, yeah. So we basically had like half a cup of AU and then lemonade. A like sprinkle that. of lemonade. Now that was bad though, because you said I was going up to everyone. I was like, hi babe, loved you in locked in. And they were like, <laughs> yeah, they were like, like yeah, 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 don't worry. Don't worry, see you No, later. but locked in was jokes. No, locked in, are we, I want to be on locked in with you. I want to be on locked in with you. We'd get voted out, but it's fine. You don't yeah, you get voted 100%. out, Yeah, 100%. No, I'd have a romance. It doesn't take much. No, you wouldn't. I'd be sat next to you shagging. Yeah, but come on. <laughs> Actually, of all people to have romances at events, it's you. I've one had, time. I've been dr- no twice. We're not mentioning the second one though. Once. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't get romance. Well, I've had. I mean, I had that one time where he said I got nice eyes. <laughs> no, that was that was the time to anywhere. be alive. It's like, tell me I've got nice eyes, but at least put it in. We've really experienced a lot to at least put it in. I didn't even clock you just said that. No, because you would have as well. In the I hot tub as well. I know oh. exactly what you're like. You'd be like, fuck it, no one can say. <laughs> you need to, I feel like we, we're on the same level with that. And I know you won't judge me of it at all, mm. ever. No. So it's fine. Yeah. I know I could sit there, be dangling from the ceiling, and he'd be like, oh, she's having a good time. Well, there's been boys I've seen for months. I've never been naked in front of them. Maybe even like <laughs> my ex I was with for a year and a half was not naked in front of him for like six months. Grace, <laughs> I was running around the room, like just out. T- Spaniel's ears out. <laughs> Spaniel's ears flying around. <laughs> and I remember the next morning I was like, it was the night we went out with Joe and George. I got absolutely gathered. I no, was walking that was around brilliant. with blankets. On. That's another event, to be fair, relevant. That was very relevant. I was walking around with blankets on. <laughs> <laughs> Remember I tried to take your Instagram picture? I climbed over this, this wicker so chair. Good. No, no. Before you say this, bearing in mind, this event was full of blue ticks. Yeah, like I have really never, prestigious yeah. people. I walked at it. I don't know if you've watched Next on the Beach, but you know the sexy guy that was with Nathan, neck tattoos, he walked out the lift. I thought, yeah, yeah. It was so, <laughs> he was so fit. And that was the introduction. There was so, there was just bougie people everywhere. <laughs> it was really yeah. bougie. So remember this. And like very influencer. If you think influencer, they were there. Yeah. Like it was that vibe. And we'd already come for another event. So we were already pre, like we were gattered. I've been, I, and I was drinking from this podcast, which is 3 p.m. Yeah. We got there at. 11 yeah it was the episode that joe and george did so yeah. they were already wanked we and fucked, i caught yeah. up very quickly because i'm a lightweight mm. if anything i beat everyone else <laughs> he did you I did. did yeah so and the cocktails at any hld event are strong, strong. and i appreciate that i yeah. really do but for a lightweight like myself it kicks in pretty quickly it's a liberty yeah it is so we got to the second event we actually get in after a bit of a tribulation outside it was quite a cute quite some cute. people really stush about that they were like i can't believe i'm queuing I'm like, babe, come on. Have you not gone to Thought Park before? <laughs> get a grip. Get you got a fast a pass. Yeah, you know what I mean? I actually get fast pass because I got Crohn's. You do because you got Crohn's yeah, and I'm going well, with Izzy. If so, anyone's yeah. to talk about impatience, it would be me. <laughs> but anyway, we get into this event. I'm absolutely mortal. If you're going to speak it, mortal. Yeah. I was rolling around, two blankets on, I was freezing. She pot. looked like E.T. in the basket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally was reference. there in the corner like this and you had all these beautiful girls with their hair done perfect. Yeah, all slick. We had like... Normal, like to be fair, I, I donated you another outfit. No, I had the whole outfit in Jordan's on. Everyone was in heels. I was like, oh, it's that kind of event. I am Grace's okay. personal stylist. She Every is, yeah. event, I'll bring like six different options so that Grace can borrow one. And I never wear what I brought. So yeah, God bless. Yeah. Brings... <laughs> anyway, anyway, Grace goes, can we please have an Instagram picture? I was like, yes, of course you can. Me gathered with two blankets on. Rather than walk around the chairs, I walk over them, stand on what looked like a stable table, right? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Izzy falls over. And it was a wooden table. So imagine the noise. It was the <laughs> loudest bang. Even I turned around like, fuck, you know. I was like, what has happened? And it wasn't just pictures for you. There was another influencer <laughs> yeah. as well who never met me before. And like me with two blankets on, flipping this table, falling on my ankle. I was like, definitely broken it. But and you were limping pictures. everywhere. You were like, oh. Yeah. I was like, I'll sort it out. I just took all the pictures anyway. I still took them. I was <laughs> like, I can tell you're in pain. And I was like, just one more though. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it's fine. I'm drunk enough that I can't feel it. <laughs> so I'm going taking all these pictures. And then they ended the free bar, right? Bastards. Yeah. No, by all means, they probably spent a lot on that bar. They there was did. a lot of people there. Yeah, was. Anyway, so I find a bridge <laughs> around the corner. And I think, what is that? Free? <laughs> what is that there 
Open the fridge. <laughs> Open the fridge. I grabbed this pole. I waddle on over to all these other beautiful girls <laughs> that are hearing on George. And I was like, hi, George. I've got a bowl. I give it to him. They're all like, eh. And it was fucking squash. It was fucking beetroot. It was being true. And all these influencers were like, eh, <laughs> trying to flirt with George. And she was just down in being true. She was like, I'm fucking so <laughs> wasted. It was gone. <laughs> oh, I cried. And she was just down in being true. I think it's being true in like lemongrass. Oh my God. I was like, eh. I was like, yeah, go on. And there's me with these two blankets on just delivering bottles of random things. Oh. I thought it was alcohol. I was nah, they thought they were the shit with those <laughs> bottles as well. They were like, I fucking had a you before. And I was like, shut I was up. Like, Please. Oh my oh god. Oh my god, that was no. so funny. <laughs> it was fucking be true. It literally <laughs> said the sign be true. And I. It was me waddling over, fucked ankle. Like, it was, it was <laughs> yeah, you were hobbling, you were like. <laughs> I was like, guys, I've come through. I'm f- through a bar, who needs it? I've got a fridge full of random things. Oh, I, I wasn't drinking it. No, God no. forbid. God forbid would I drink it. I gave it to everyone else. And they were like, it's just beat true. I was like, well. That was so funny. Funeral, was it? They thought they were the shit with that. That's they the did. best and they memory tried to I've be ever so had. They're so sexy about it. Yeah, they're like, like with their tongue out, like it dripping down them yeah, as if like, it isn't uh, beetroot cordial. I was there like, well, how was that? <laughs> how was that? And me with my fucking broken ankle, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then we went out clubbing after. Yeah. Nah, this was a fucking joke. And if anyone wants to move to London, take this as advice. So we fucking go to this club. I won't specify names, <laughs> but the way to get in is to show how many followers you've got. Swear down. And I'm not being disrespectful, but that's classic. And annoyingly actually. enough, he only cared about Instagram. He and Grace has fucking lost her Instagram. I was like, my TikTok's way more. <laughs> yeah, actually. that's what I was like, really <laughs> counting it. TikTok is here. And then he, so he let me and Grace in, even though George and Joe had like the plenty of followers. For fuck's sake. Yeah, do you know what I mean? They still charge them to go in. Like it doesn't, like men have to quid pay. cash. Yeah. 30 quid cash. We didn't have to pay shit. Not a penny. And then we were all clubbing. We were like, this bit shit. And then they- No, they, it was shit. He come and tapped on my shoulder and he went, do you want to go to VIP? I was like, come on guys. It's like, no, no, no. Just shit. I was like, no. Can Hello? we say he was there or not? Oh, definitely. He's everywhere. Yeah, true. He is everywhere. So we're just in this booth and <laughs> wait, all of a sudden, Connor Maynard and Joe does. Sugg- what past this man's like the plague. I actually love Joe Sugg, so I'm no Joe Sugg. Fu- Joe Sugg, <laughs> Joe Sugg, <laughs> English. Are we hey. this is a shot it and fucking say it gone to already. Nah, yeah, so he comes past and then um, what was I saying? Joe Sugg, you're my childhood. I love you. <laughs> Look at you, Zoella, babe. Hope you're doing I well. I love you, Zoella. Your calendar was reasonably be playing. It wasn't though, was oh, it? God. That's a violation. <laughs> no, I would pay fifty pound for a candle. Yeah, of Joe Malone. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, we had a Joe Malone. Excuse you me, had a Joe Malone. <laughs> that candle may have been very expensive. So Izzy's dancing, right? Yeah, having it off. She's having a good time. At this point, Making it's got a bit weird. We're all passing ice cubes. Nah, when I woke up the next day, I remembered this. I got I really embarrassed. No, I got really embarrassed. No, just, why'd you have to do that? No, I, I was, was fine not knowing more, that. Imagine in a booth as well, so everyone can see <laughs> us doing this. We were like, should we pass around ice cubes in our mouth? <laughs> I want to die. Oh no! Didn't and you remember Joe that was like, oh, "I'm not doing that." And but Joe and like, George were to kiss. Joe and George were next to each other. They both looked at each other like, "No." And I was like, "Fair enough." I was like, we were like, "We'll do it." So we were doing, and we it wasn't even like a circle. We were doing it like probably four times in the circle. And I was like, "It's getting a bit old now, actually." And like, there's no like, ice, the cube ice cubes left. about this big at this point. I was like, this is just an excuse to neck on with random people. Oh, just I'm sorry. gutted. Yeah. I really was. Yeah. Because shortly after we left, I tried to jump a construction fence into like broken, what was it, pathway. It was like concrete oh, and brick. Oh my God, yeah. And then my nail just went... <laughs> <laughs> flung off I was like this oh. is when Joe was trying to be like an angry straight man as well he's punching yeah, all the he signs I was of turned on stuff. I was like I never thought he was like this so was I yeah I was no like, amen yeah move out the way 
please. Mm -hmm. But that was weird. Then there was loads of girls on poles naked dancing, and I yeah. was like, get fucked. I humbled. Yeah, no, seriously. I didn't I was need like, to go to a club to actually like. hate my body even more. And also, I was just heavily distracted by you had this over there. Also, someone definitely stole my vape, and you have enough money to buy your own vape. And that's a fucking fact yeah. because that was my borrowed vape from Izzy. <laughs> yes, and it was an e lux. Yeah, they're like 25 pounds. 25 fucking 25 quid. 25 quid. Inflation is strong. That's like two packs of facts. That's a violation, I yeah. Agree. So it was meant to be just me and Izzy and we had another girl, Cara, in our room. Bless Cara. So it was just Cara sprawled across the floor. We <laughs> woke up the next morning and I was like, Cara, <laughs> Cara. And she was just by the window and she was like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, so Cara, you did stay on the floor. Cara yeah. had a little bit of something too much to drink. Because midway yeah. through the event, I bless her little cotton. She's probably watching. I got a, a kebab. I took her down. I took my and mum roll on. And I was pissed on. off that you got one and I didn't. Yeah, but, that's fine. but I only got one because I had to sit downstairs and miss the whole event. Mood. To be fair. Then I come back up. I've got sliders on at this point with me lovely outfit. Oh, yeah, I'm holding Cara in the lift. Little did I know, everyone's waiting for this bastard lift. There's only one. So then everyone's looking in. I'm holding Cara. I'm like, hello. <laughs> the hello. door opens. With my little oh, yeah. sliders on. I'm like shuffling out. Sorry, guys. And then they were all like, no, I was so happy to see you. I was like, is he? I Where the fuck have you been? And I you didn't back. tell me you were leaving. No, but I didn't even... Basically, one of the managers was like, you need to take her away because she's going to make a little bit of a scene. And I was like, bless her. Okay, I've got this. So I did. And this was the time the football was on. We only fucking lost. Yeah, So every male with a decent cock in that room was crying in the corner over a Budweiser. Yeah. I was thinking, I didn't fuck it coming for but this. But to be fair, most of them were already wifed off anyway. If you yeah, know. I mean, it doesn't stop any of them though, does no, it? Let's usually, be honest. No. Careful, your halo's slipping. <laughs> Why is that like that quote? It's like, your halo's slipping. Your tiara's slip. slipping. Yeah. My girly. Polish mine. Well, it's still, it's on the piss. It's, this it's is so on brand. It doesn't even want to be there. So on brand. It does not want to be there. <laughs> it's like, it's repent. like fighting the urge. It's like, oh. it's just like if you walked into a church, you'd set a light. Yeah. 100%. It's true. But. I've seen what you do in your Toyota Yaris. I go. I go. It was and a Yaris. I'm so R. sorry. R.I.P. God bless her. You had a crash, uh, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, that's. <laughs> I love that car. And this is not what we need to it... talk about at all. That was a great car. She was an innocent man. <laughs> we were all free just innocent out, free men. Out, free out. Do you remember the, the Christmas party where I was absolutely Oh yattered? my, I've never seen Izzy because Izzy doesn't really drink anyway. The first time I've seen Izzy genuinely worse than me. Amen. She went to me, Grace, trigger warning. <laughs> I went, there we go. This is always a good start. She went, I'm going to make myself sick. And I went, fuck off <laughs> now. Yeah, don't ever. You went, you you and Harry died that night. No, me and Harry died that night. Harry was being sick everywhere. He got, apparently he had to get his dad to pick him up. You know why up. I didn't see that? Because I was actually gattered. So I didn't even notice. No, so while up. you were in the toilet dying, Harry had spilt his drink all over me. I was like, the ick's been had now. That's, <laughs> I'm, I'm over that now. And I was just like, no, everyone was fucked. See, you know what I did though? I was drunk, but I was like, she's got a metaphobia. Let's keep this PG. So I went, don't come with me. <laughs> yeah. I'm going and I'm going to sort it out myself. So I did. I threw up. I laid on the floor and just let the room spin. <laughs> I did. I <laughs> did. <laughs> for like a solid 10 minutes I was just laying there like re contemplating my whole life and death because I was like everyone out there has a very big social media presence that, and but we'd me. already ruined that on our table yeah, we so were true. the we were the icks of our table like we were so loud we were laughing and, and then you'd look over and people were just like yeah there was I mean I don't I'm not gonna no. say specifics at all there was someone on our table who clearly hated me and Grace at the time. They clearly didn't, they didn't enjoy our presence. To be fair, I would have been the same. Yeah, like, no, we, if the coin was flipped. Yeah, the coin, the was, coin flipped? was flipped. I would have looked at us and been like, yeah. why am I here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would have thought the same. But we were really trying to just be friendly. And we just, were. You know, and it just didn't work. Have a good we, time. In the end, we just accepted it and just And just moved on. on. Yeah, fuck yeah. it. And the food was so posh. I thought every five minutes no, I was no. going to have an allergic reaction. No, let me tell you this. I was absolutely fucking starving. I had <laughs> not eaten genuinely a thing. So I was like, we're going to have a bougie night. Tonight. Yeah, we thought it'd be like a filling. Yeah, I was like, let me prepare my stomach. Mm, don't want to bloat. The main comes out. 
<clears throat> Why is it a fucking salad leaf it with pomegranates and blue leaf. cheese? I said to them, where's the rest? <laughs> Is their seconds going? No, because by the end, I was eating everyone's creme brulee. No, they were like, no. were like, you done with that or yeah. what? I was like, they haven't even started, but go they ahead. Like, I don't want that on a diet. I'm like, well, clearly I'm <laughs> fucking not. Pass it over. No, it. it took the piss. It yeah, took the someone, piss. Did someone put it in, like, put wine on it? I still ate it. Yeah. So, someone proper You were a dirty one. bitch, I still yeah. still went there. And... Bless them. Some of the girls were filming me and they've got a lot of followers. They've got a lot, a yeah. A lot. And there's me passed out on the sofa like this. With a bit of crème brûlée crumb on her How, mouth. No, I think I had a napkin in my head at one you point. Did, to yeah. keep my dignity. Didn't and work. It, that didn't work, I did was going to say. Um, I was just but this out. is why rich people are skinny as fuck. Well, they don't eat anything. Yeah, well, that's why you are. Yeah, you know me. A few <laughs> yeah, salad like, leaves a day. And that's why I live off of Doctor birds Lee. eye nuggets. And that's why this won't... This absolute tire will never leave me. <laughs> <laughs> because I love a chicken nug. <laughs> and no one will tell me differently. I'm a humble girl. I'll even borrow mayonnaise from other establishments borrow? to put in my to put in my glove box for when I get into Mackey's for I put it in the lid. I'm like, yeah, well on yeah, there. Fuck it. In How fact, they know? Not that I've been in my ex's car any time recently at all. Definitely she has, not. yeah. But he's still got my mayonnaise sachet in there from a oh, year ago. Oh, yeah. wait. Can you still eat that? Definitely not. It's egg. No, I don't know if he's just keeping it there for memories. Memories. Or what. He but probably, when he has a wank, he holds it <laughs> and thinks of you. <laughs> my mayonnaise <laughs> girl. <laughs> oh, well, we can only hope. I'm sure he does. He to be does, fair. yeah. But either way, I'm like, why have you kept that? To round this podcast up. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm enjoying myself. Don't no, cut it down out. Down that yeah, before right. we round it up. What about you? Whoa, what? I've had two more than no, I've had one more than you. Sorry, what well. was Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. well <laughs> All I say is chin chin. All I say is that. juice to that. Go on. <laughs> Innocent men. <laughs> Innocent men. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that is pretty mental. I can't um, see. Right. <laughs> My last question, which I round off every podcast, is. If you were, uh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it hit me 10 seconds after. I was like, right. I need a breather. If I. Everyone cut. No, if you. Wait. Yeah. Fucking. Hold Go on. on. So, <laughs> no, because it needs to stop. Carry on. <laughs> wait, okay. If, What's your saving grace? If you I'll had you any now. advice, oh, it's fake sad. If you had any advice mm. for me, what would you give me? Oh, well, I mean, I am already a men's what <laughs> <laughs> mental case. No, a monumental lick ass to you. <laughs> like, in any situation, Ooh. I'm like, I love grace. It's like having a coloscopy. Yeah. So colonoscopy. <laughs> I mean, look, if anyone to ask, it would Is be me. A it's a colonoscopy. <laughs> A colonoscopy. Oh wait, yeah. a colonoscopy. Yeah. yeah, I did tell what you. What did you say? A colonoscopy. Yeah. 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 yeah well, that's what I have, frankly. <laughs> colonoscopy. It's a camera up your ass. You do. Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about the thing that sucks the shit out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what a colonoscopy is. What am I? What am I thinking Irrigation? about? Irrigation. Shit. Enema. Yeah. Enema. enema. I have one of them before the colonoscopy, actually. <sighs> That's not why are we talking. So, well, about? at least they're sorting you out. Do you know what? Don't worry. What was your advice? Yeah, well, it's quite a violating experience actually. Have you ever had a full-grown woman stick a fucking chicken baster? No, your but ass? once I had a woman look at my arsehole twice, and I was like, "Get fucked." I was like, "Does it look okay?" Actually. Anyway, what's my saving grace? Um, <laughs> yes. Look, I am a monumental ass licker, yeah. and I think you're absolutely smashing it. And out of all people, I go, "That fucking bitch is smashing it." Like sometimes um, I'm like, "How dare you? How dare me?" But yeah. you deserve it, so I can't even be angry. You know, like they're assholes. You're like, "Oh, you don't even deserve it." No, with you actually, you do. <laughs> it's like a bit. Yeah, I'm not naming them. <laughs> you know who you Click are. <laughs> but anyway. You deserve everything you get, but the one thing I would say is please stop having sex at events. <laughs> if I don't know, it won't hurt I me. turned around at see, I was like, she can hear in her mouth, and she was like, and I was like, oh, she can't hear. Snoring, <laughs> like, she can't hear. 
Go follow Izzy Oakley on Twitter. Check her likes. Revenly. <gasps> Revenly. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're ending the podcast. Life. You've been going to bake myself. We're ending like the that. podcast. Absolutely not. Okay, peace got- out. Peace and love. Peace and love. If you watched on YouTube, give it a like and subscribe. And if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, make sure you follow and give it a five-star review. Thank you.